Sometimes you gotta lift some heavy shit. So recently, um, a friend of mine. My name's Paul Rosa. E started his video sequence about things that he used to believe as a trainer. So I reached out because I thought it was a great idea and I asked him if he wouldn't mind if I copied him. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I've actually linked his video right here and also down in the description. If you're watching this on Instagram, I've probably tagged him and if you're on Facebook, well, screw Facebook. I hate Facebook. It's a cesspool, really. But I'll post the video there anyhow and probably tag Paul. So I wanted to start with uh, something that I used to think, and I used to think things like this were inspirational. They showed the world that you were a serious person who worked out. And what I've realized is, while I think it was initially meant to be like a dig at people for not working hard enough in the gym, it's become very apparent that a lot of people do warm up for an hour to an hour and a half. They never actually work out. So when you see things like this, it's really because you're spending way too much time on mobilizing your body. You're spending way too much time on warming up. You're doing way too many things that are deemed corrective. Now, I know some of you have issues that you need corrective exercise and you really need to focus on mobility and range of motion. And it should be made a priority at the beginning and the end of each workout, but it should not be what drives two, three, four days of your workout. If you're spending most of your week mobilizing your body, you're not training your body, you're not strengthening your body. You're not moving through those ranges of motion that you're helping to open up, which means your body's not really learning how to use the tissue that you're mobilizing. That popped up earlier today and I wanted to just shoot a quick little video to kind of introduce the topic of some of my next videos as well as kind of shit on this one because way too many people need to stop warming up and start working out. If your whole workout looks like a giant warm up, then you need to evaluate your workout program. There's a time and a place for warming up. There's a time and a place for mobilizing your body. There's a time and a place to go hard. A lot of you have goals that you want to achieve, but if you're constantly warming up for an hour to an hour and a half and you think it's a workout because you broke a sweat, well, that could be what's holding you back. And like I said, this is coming from a Pilates instructor. Sometimes mobilizing your body is not the only thing you need to do. Sometimes you gotta lift some heavy shit.